Garfield's Ghost Stories. The Well-Fed Phantom. Garfield peered through the iron gates at the run-down old house. It doesn't look haunted to me, he said hopefully. It's haunted, all right, Nermal replied. But I thought you weren't afraid of ghosts. I'm not afraid, snapped Garfield. I'll stay in that house all night or my name isn't Garfunkel. Your name isn't Garfunkel. Then I'm out of here, said Garfield. Nevertheless, a short time later, Garfield was tiptoeing with a flashlight through the creepy old house. Ugh! That's a regular cobweb convention, Garfield whispered to himself. Why did I let Normal dare me into spending the night in the haunted house? Garfield's instincts guided him to the kitchen. At the sight of him, rats scurried into their holes. Garfield pulled a tattered rug in front of the dust-covered refrigerator and settled down for the night. Hour after hour, Garfield huddled against the fridge. The house creaked and shuddered, and every sound made Garfield jerk with fright. Suddenly, he heard a fierce growl. Garfield patted his empty tummy. Why didn't I bring snacks, he said, glancing around the dusty kitchen. Then he turned around and stared at the grimy old refrigerator. Hmm, he said. I wonder... A short time later, as Garfield was falling asleep, a terrible voice rumbled in a far-off room. I'm coming to eat you up, groaned the voice. Garfield nearly jumped out of his stripes. That's it. I'm leaving. I'm gone, he gasped, but his legs were paralyzed with fear. I'm coming to eat you up, the voice repeated. Do you hear that, legs? wailed Garfield, struggling to move. The voice was getting closer and closer. I'm coming to eat you up, it rumbled. I'm coming to eat you up. Suddenly, the kitchen door burst open and in floated a well-fed phantom. Ah! screamed Garfield. Ah! shrieked the ghost, who immediately retreated behind the door. Seconds later, his head popped back in. My goodness, Kitty, you almost scared the afterlife out of me. Don't eat me! pleaded Garfield. Eat you? the ghost replied. Don't be ridiculous. I came down for my midnight snack. I'm sure there's something much tastier than you in the refrigerator. Uh-oh, said Garfield. The ghost opened the refrigerator door and gasped. It's empty, he shrieked, but it should be full. It's always been full. The ghost eyed Garfield angrily. Well, uh, being scared makes me hungry, Garfield explained. So naturally, I, I had to check the fridge and... Well, then there's only one thing I can do, the ghost said gravely. I'll have to eat. Garfield didn't wait for the ghost to finish. He ran all the way home, faster than a fat cat with a full tummy had ever run before. The end.